up, right? So when we talk about uh, drills for um, stance and start, you know, what are they designed to do? It's important that your drills show up on film, right? And that you have a design and you spend time and it's not always going to be pretty, right? And you got to be creative and come up with drills that fit what you're working on. But make sure you can go back and that they fit into the game so you can show the guys. And if they're not fitting into the game, then find new drills, you know, make them up. Start in a great ath athletic position, that initial step, no false steps. We talk about clean feet all the time, you know, creating force, pushing off the ground, the push leg, the drive leg. And then that this last thing right here, you know, maintaining that technique in a pressure situation because these are habits, right? Basically, you're just training habits um, because when the time comes and they're tired, they're not going to be thinking about it. I do like working under a shoot, right? It's easy. I do like finishing on a hip on a running back, right? How we teach tackling when you're not tackling anybody just to make sure you're in good body position and then you shoot your hands at the tackle. Um, so we do a lot of mental tackling and then we use the rings, right? We're adding in, but you can see, don't, you know, work to not click the heels, pound the feet, near foot, near shoulder, right? No head across anymore. Those days are over. Let's get the left foot, left shoulder up in there. Okay. You can see the bag behind the heels of the linebacker. I think that's important so that it eliminates false starts. It's a good way to see you to see if you're coaching by yourself. If the bag moves, uh, you know you know that there was a false start. Just working on how they get downhill, how they read the shoulders of the running back, right? Are those shoulders uh, parallel or perpendicular? how fast I can move, still set, staying inside out. There's nothing wrong with crossing over um, if the back shoulders merit it, you know, if it's an outside stretch play. So that crossover step, that's okay with the, with the uh, perpendicular shoulders, but you still got to get those shoulders back to square. I mean, when linebackers run sideways, seams are created in the defense. So being able to get your shoulders back to square um, is critical to how you're going to play. Working downhill, um, if they're having trouble getting out of their stance, obviously they got to be able to roll their weight forward more, not sit back in the rocking chair. Right, A lot of guys get lazy and they want to sit back in the rocking chair. Then right there, to me, is a real fundamental of being a linebacker, right? That ability to push off and just change direction. We're not even talking about the ball or anything, but can I just push off and change direction? That's big. Working downhill without a false step, pushing off and changing direction. Now, we don't need to do drills that last, um, you know, more than 10 seconds. Really, we're trying to work between four to six seconds. Right. Well, we say at Ohio State, four to six, A to B plus two, you know, that's a big deal. So don't make your drills uh, last a long time where they don't simulate a football play. Yeah, good. Downhill, little wasted movement right here, right downhill, keeping it tight. It's a good example, keeping your feet apart between the tackles. Downhill, scallop, scallop, scallop. You see that left foot up right there? That's important, right? That's important. The left foot is up. As he comes down to approach the tackle, it's going to be a left shoulder tackle. I'd like him to keep his head head out of there, right? In the way we're coaching now, put the head behind to the roll. But it's profile tackle. But 
Get the left foot up, keep it up, near foot, near shoulder. Tackling is technique, but it's also timing, right? It's timing. Um, right, now it's right foot, right foot. Yeah, that angle there, a little bit out of control. You know, we're talking about movement skills right here, which is good because there's no false step. And you see it simulate the drill. It, it simulates the drill of how the linebacker had to get downhill on an angle fast. Now he's got to get himself in position to make a tackle. The movement skills are uh, good and relatable. Right, simple concept here, right, with the uh, steel number 22 is a one pull, one gap concept. He's a B gap player. It's one pull, one gap. We're not getting into scheme as much, but um, he does track it straight downhill. He keeps his feet apart. He stays in his gap, and he's in a uh, relatively good position. Not perfect, but he's trying to, to, to keep his movement skills intact with his feet apart. 